Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the new Jeep Avenger full electric and in this video I want to make the multimedia review and I want to explain you cockpit and multimedia. Everything about it you will find out in this video. So let's do it guys. Also I will make a different video, a separate video where I connect my iPhone to this multimedia system so if you want to see that video check out next days or probably it's already on the channel check it out first of all i will start with multimedia system because i want to show you how you can you configure it from here from the multimedia the digital cockpit in the front right there so first of all the visibility is just perfect from the driver point of view very good visibility in the cockpit and also on the multimedia because you have a big steering wheel you have a good visibility from the driver point of view also you can adjust it the way you want it here we have this style like Stellantis group style Fiat multimedia system. I like very much the way they design it here and also round edges, relatively big. Uh, I think it's 10 inch display. The brightness, the graphics are perfect and I have nothing to complain. I like it very much from this point of view. It's a very, very good system and it looks really fine. Now, first of all, all you have to do and all you have to know is that it's kind of the same system as Stellantis use it on Peugeot cars for example also Citroen I see with a little bit slightly different graphic you can see the temperature it's connected to the internet you can see also uh, 4G connectivity there in the corner down here you have four uh, kind of four physical buttons but two of them it's home and one it's vehicle vehicle uh, get you directly to the most important advanced driver system systems like all the safety features are here shortcut mean that you can save it here your favorite and if you go to function you have all the function all the safety features like road signs you can add also to the favorite for example here and then once you add it to the favorite it will appear right here then you have like safety features blind spot alert driver alert and if the car will have more you will see everything here like for parking close obstacle detection it has lane keeping assist automatic braking system traction control it has speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition blind spot and all all everything you want to have in shortcut you just save it and it will go to shortcut it's very simple because you have this physical button shortcut here now if you go to home uh, then the, the multimedia will go to the home page in the home page you can customize the the way you want it like a mobile phone like a smartphone so you can see we have three pages this is the second page this is third page and if you want to add some extra widgets here all you have to do or you press it if I'm not wrong for a few seconds wait a second and then you can customize it it gets you directly to the menu to the cost customization and from here you can customize how many pages you want to have we have three pages if you want an extra page you just press plus to the page and now you can add a page and you can add here wherever you want to add for example if you want to add this graphic with uh, the car and then you can add also side driving assistance systems and here you can add uh, the temperature and then you can add also um, this application drawer and then you can just go back and then save and it will save and now you will have four page if you go back to home you can see this is the third page uh, right here now it's super simple just like that now guys let me go forward now it's already customization customized before we get inside the car but here we have the climatic system it's very simple to adjust the temperature to turn it on turn it off it's super super simple then you have also this page where it shows you a nice graphic while you're driving with what happened with the energy. It's a front wheel drive car so you can see in the front we have the electric motor and the battery and how many lines and how much battery you still have and when you're driving you can see a nice graphic. Here is the consumption and all that graphic with the consumption on the last uh, miles and here is the charging information um, at the moment you know. Going back to home then we have the heating functions for the seats here we have turn it on and off heated seats you have free position from here you can also turn it off then you have the climatic system controllers if you go to the climatic system controllers you can choose here where the air to go you can choose how fast to go the vents and then you can put it on automatically but you can also uh, turn it off and then seats option and precondition you can also precondition the car before you get inside the car and it's just super super useful 
Now let's go back to home, go to navigation system. Here I already set a destination and I play a little bit with it and I see that it's super responsive. I like it very much how responsive it is. I was quite impressed. I see much more expensive cars that are not that responsive, but this new navigation guys from um, Stellantis group, it's really, really good. And I was impressed you can add, add an extra stop there and you can see how fast it's loading It's in no time. You have also 3D, 2D, depend how you like to see the map. Um, it's crazy simple to use it and also very, very clear. So I like that. Uh, and if you want to stop it, you stop it from here. If you want to see extra information about the trip, you can see it here on the side. And also you can see even more information. You can see even the uh, charging station. If you go to this uh, socket, it will show you all the charging station near you. You press one and then you just go there boom and you go to the next charging station it's that simple and I like the fact that they add it here on the on the map so the map it's kind of the same navigation that uh, Stellantis group use it on other cars then we have let's go to application drawer because in the application drawer you have all the settings of the car and if you go to others here on the others we have all that safety features that I show you before then the next ones are climatic system, you already see it, date and time, energy, you already see it, if I'm not wrong, yes. Um, and then we have, let me go back, then you have also seat option, you see it, mobile phone, navigation, you see it already, media. Here on the media you can connect your thing, you can listen music, and also you have the settings, but... Uh, on the settings we will go in the second because I want to show you all the settings and mirror screen here you can connect your Apple uh, phone or your iPhone wireless to the car this is great you can use your USB but you can do it also wireless and this is also very very good and on the settings here we have all the settings of the car let's start with the first one profile you can connect you can add a profile to the car so you can save all your options for future oh, when you turn on the car all your settings will be saved on your profile then if you go to display customization you can also customize the cockpit but i will show you that a little bit later first of all let me finish with this one here screen color you can choose the color of the screen from here for example if you want a blue you can choose also to have it in other colors but it was blue you know like we're in for electricity uh, then you have the interior color here you can choose also the interior color which color you want to have here and then you have like exterior animation interior animation go to connectivity you can see the Wi-Fi the car is connected to the internet we have system here you can change the language um, you have also the date kilometer miles you can choose whatever uh, info you want if you want to have it in Fahrenheit or Celsius you can do it from here you can also reset all those uh, brightness if you go to the brightness you can choose the brightness of the screen that's that's super cool and also the brightness of the interior light and also this is very useful audio settings from here you find all the audio settings of the car like dynamic neutral uh, all those uh, settings for uh, sound you find it here radio settings and volume settings and then we have like voice assistant here vehicle settings like vehicle lights welcome light cornering light automatic main bin vehicle access here we have vehicle access like doors boots um, disabled door mirrors folding <laughs> and all that stuff then we have the updates the car come with updates connection service anyway now let's go to the cockpit and then I will end up this video because there are some people that want to see the car too and you go right here customize information and from here you can customize and add pages the same as you add it there you can add it also here and you can see in the same time when you move this you can see you can move also on the on the cockpit so check this out so you have a few pages there so you can customize the same way you can customize uh, the multimedia and then go back and save and if you want to change the view on the cockpit guys all you have to do it's just very simple you just press this button behind here the stalk you have a button and you can change the view that you want to have this is the navigation you can also have the navigation on the front there we'll show you the directions and everything you can have this radio view you can have also the trip here trip a trip b this is also uh, the adaptive cruise control uh, all that 
advanced safety features and adaptive cruise control uh, you can see there what happened with the car while you're driving and here is this graphic nice graphic that shows you the car while you're driving what happened with the energy so in general this is it if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the full review and the test drive with this jeep avenger full electric version i think in one two weeks uh, i will be able to do it so stay tuned click the subscribe button uh, to see the notification when that video will come out also i hope the video was useful thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys